Okay, suppose theta is an angle in standard position whose terminal side lies in quadrant 3. If sine theta equals negative 4 fifths, find the value of the remaining five trigonometric functions of theta. This is a pretty typical problem in a math text or pre-calc text just to kind of get you used to what's going on with the six trig identity or trig functions. And so first up, we need to calculate or determine what all this means. So, so here, theta is an angle in standard position whose terminal side lies in the third quadrant. So what that means is we're going to have this xy plane here. Here's x, here's y. And, and here's quadrant one of the xy plane. Here's quadrant two, quadrant three, and quadrant four. And so we have a ray lying in the third quadrant. So we have, we'll draw this ray in here. And theta is always an angle made with the x-axis. Its reference angle is always with the x-axis. So we're going to just find the reference angle. That will be theta. It means we know it's in the third quadrant. This whole angle all the way around is actually theta, but we'll, we'll deal with just the reference angle only. And we'll go ahead and make a triangle to complete that reference angle so we can use the right triangle trig stuff. So um, they give us that sine theta equals negative 4 fifths. Well, a negative is a direction. Um, and so negative 4, if, if you think about sine and so katoa, sine is opposite over hypotenuse, cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, tangent is opposite over adjacent. And so we're going to do the opposite and hypotenuse part for sine. So that means this is negative 4. Four, other than you can't see what I just wrote there. So let me write that back in there. So this is negative 4, and your hypotenuse is 5, because here's your, here's your opposite, here's your hypotenuse. And it's negative 4 because the triangle, you know, if you think about the xy plane, it's going left so many and down 4, and so that's why it's negative. Then the other part of that is we need to find this x value, which will also be negative because you're going from 0, 0 here. You're going left first. So that's the negative direction. And so we'll use Pythagorean theorem. And so negative 4 squared, which would be positive, uh, plus x squared equals 5 squared. And so you solve that. This is 16 plus x squared equals 25. Many of you probably know this is a 3, 4, 5 right triangle, but if you didn't know that, uh, Pythagorean theorem still works just fine. So x squared is 9, so that means x is either positive or negative 3. In this case, it's negative 3 because we have a direction. We're going left 3. Okay, then the next part of this is once we have our triangle complete, we can fill out the rest of the trig identities or trig functions. So we know. Um, and I'll get it so I can just see that. There we go. We already know sine. So cosine theta would be opposite, uh, adjacent, sorry, adjacent over hypotenuse, which would be negative 3 over 5. Tangent theta is opposite over adjacent, which is negative 4 over negative 3, which two negatives makes that positive. So that would be 4 thirds. Uh, cotangent theta is the reciprocal of tangent, so that would be 3 fourths. Secant theta is the reciprocal of cosine, so that would be 5 over 3 negative. And cosecant theta is the reciprocal of sine, which we already knew was... Uh, uh, negative 4 fifths, so it would be 5 over 4 negative. And so those would be your other five trig functions for theta. And we're done. So I hope this helps. Uh, I'll have more videos, and this is just kind of an example to help my students study for the exam, and uh, hopefully it helps you guys too. Have a good one.